Hi guys, I am back to share with you a project that I finished and I've been really busy lately, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So I haven't had a whole lot of time for like Halloween crafting, just a little bit, but I wanted to share with you guys this project that I finished. So, well, I, this is a uh, pouch that I made and it has also a journal inside. So it's a set and I'm actually really happy with the way that it came out. Um, like I said, I've been really busy. So when I have a few minutes, you know, late at night when I can't sleep, I'll get up and work on things, you know, when I can. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys because like I said, I finally finished it. So let me just stop rambling and we'll go ahead and get started. So I created this pouch right here. This is using this like glittery canvas. Um, it was just like a sheet that I cut down and, um, let's try to I'm lost for words, you guys. I'm sorry. I just might have my mind preoccupied. <laughs> anyway, so I made this pouch. Um, I did a lot of layering, collaging here on the front. I mean, there you might not be able to tell, but there is like a ton of stuff layered here. I also did another cluster here in the corner. Um, I have one of those little, uh, I forget what they're called, those little, <clears throat> excuse me, machine thingies that, you know, make your own little snaps. Um... So it does have a snap closure. Of course, it's a pouch, so it's, as you can see, it's sewn around. Um, so it just opens and closes like this. Now, this doesn't have to be used to, you know, hold a journal. You could use it for whatever, put whatever you want in it. Um, the back is just the gold. And this glitter doesn't fall off. It's on there. So that's always nice because, you know, sometimes you get that stuff and the glitter just gets everywhere. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, <laughs> this is not like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, so this is the pouch. Um, this pouch measures. Now, you guys know I'm not good with numbers. So <laughs> roughly about seven and three quarters by about five um about five and a half roughly so um that's the pouch like i said it put the journal in there you could put it or not but this is the journal that i made and i just think it came out really cute so this is the journal it's a little bit on the smaller side compared to ones i've been making lately so this is what it looks like it's super cute so this measures about five from like here to about here it's about five by about six, so roughly five by six. So this is what it looks like. And I'll just go ahead and do a quick uh, flip through. I did purchase some uh, printables from, uh, it's a set, where did I get it from? I think it's TaylorMade Journals is the set that I bought. Um, so there's just a big assortment of printables in there. So. And I uh, used some coffee dyed paper. I uh, made these little borders pieces on the side. So again, I'll just do a quick flip through. This is sewn on. There's a little pocket with a little extra piece in there. A little owl. This had two owls and I cut it in half. And the other one's farther back in the journal. You'll see here in a second. This is sewed on. Another one of the printables. Here's a little belly band. And then I just made this little card to slide in there. This paper printable is from um, Antique Papery. This is from the TaylorMade Journal set. Again, another one of these border pieces. This is a uh, printable here. There's another little pocket some trim and I as you can see everything is inked up really good I use some uh, black soot from Tim Holtz There's a, sorry about my dogs guys some trim over here there's a little pocket little card And here's another little uh, tuck with a card that I made. 
And then this is from Antique Papery. Here's that other owl. Again, I just inked it up. And then it goes like this. Another. I made these with some ledger paper and just inked it up really good. So there's that. Super cute. I like the size of it. This is perfect to like travel with because it's not like too big like some journals can be. But it's also not too small so there's, you know, a lot of space to write and journal in. So that is the Halloween project I have to share with you guys. So I hope you guys like it. Um, I will be adding this to my shop if anyone is interested. The link to my shop is always down below. So that's where you can find anything that I currently have available. So um, um, I have some other projects in the works. Hopefully I can get them done. Um, just working as much as I can on that kind of stuff too besides everything else. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.